Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Are you using the standard tray that comes with your diamond painting, like one of these? And are you sick of knocking it over? Um, you probably know what I mean. You just reach over for your pen or your coffee. You just glance the tray and before you know it, the drills are all flipped over and usually they land on the glue. So if you're having problems with that and you're looking for a solution and if you are using uh, Tic Tac boxes, which I am, and you're looking for a solution that is suitable for Tic Tac boxes, this may be the video for you. So after a few months of diamond painting and using trays like this, I decided that there must be something better. The biggest problem that I was having with them is the fact that they are so light and the fact that they are angled at the sides makes them very unstable. If you accidentally knock them, tap them, they tend to flip. Um, this was happening too many times for me and uh, I decided to start looking for something that would work better. But I used Tic Tac boxes, which are these things. So you pop the lid, the drills go in here, close it. When you use it, pop it open, pour some drills into the tray, snap it shut. I really like this design. So I was looking for something that worked with this. Now, these trays work very well because the nozzle fits exactly into the uh, box. And uh, it's very quick to change them. So really like that part. That is the only part that I like. So as I said, decided to start looking for something better and ended up on Etsy and I found a store called JH Envisions Lab and or Envision Lab. Um, had a look on there, saw these trays that are much bigger than this. They have square edges, they look heavier and they also have a nozzle uh, for people who use the Tic Tac boxes. So this arrived and I'm going to open it. This is when you think that you should probably have actually opened it before you started the video. But people like to see me struggle, I think. So as I said, this is from Etsy, an Etsy store, and it's actually two. Um, I found out that JH stands for Jeff Heather, so these are his. He he makes these with a 3D printer, and he makes left and right handed trays. So my wife is left handed, I am right handed, so I ordered one of each. So got the little uh, note here he's got on it right jim left tammy now uh, there is another reason for that uh, which you'll see in a minute so this is the box uh, very well packed as you can see uh, hopefully there are two drill trays in here okay just uh, have to dump that Okay, so that should just be it. Yep, two drill trays and a lot of paper which happens to be the same colour as the drills. In fact, is this paper or is it plastic? It's paper. So, we don't need that. And this is what we're looking for. So two drill trays, and uh, got a sticker here, 
get out of the light. So that's JH in Vision Lab. Thank you for your purchase. Very strong glue. And resealable bag. That'll be getting used for something else. So I'll take the two out. And you can see we've got a left and a right handed. It does actually make a difference um, because the nozzles are in the corners, they're not in the middle. But just as a there's some paper in this one. It's a bit sell tape. Get out. So there we have a standard tri sized tray compared to these. So obviously the first thing is you can get a lot more drills in here without having to keep topping up. And the actual ridges, I um, don't know how well this will show up, but I mean if you've got a diamond painting kit, you know what this is like. Uh, these ridges are very short. Uh, the drills tend when you shake it they sort of slide about and go from one row to the other. These ones the ridges are much deeper so the drills will actually sit in them. When you shake it they won't jump about. They'll, once they go in and sit they tend to stay there and uh, we have a little plug so no drills come out when you shake it. So you can take the plug out and then uh, put it in when you're not using it. Um, the reason they had Jim and Tammy written is I asked them if we could put the names in them. So you can actually get, this costs a little bit extra, but you can get names or company names, phrases, whatever messages to people uh, actually printed in the tray, which is pretty cool. So, being uh, not very uh, clever with uh, what to get printed, I just decided to get our names. So we've got Jim and Tammy. So Jim is the right-handed tray, and Tammy is the left. Because if I pick this up, I want to hold it that way. Um, <coughs> so that's it. So the differences between them uh, the edges are square compared to this. They're much deeper, so when you shake it, there's less chance of the drills jumping about. The other thing is these trays have this little cover in the corner, so when the drills come down, they funnel, there's actually two uh, ways they can go there. But they funnel down and behind here, so if you tip it too far, um, there's less chance of the drills spilling over. If you didn't have this here, they would tend to fall out in the corner. So it acts as a little hopper for the drills, and they come out here. So a lot heavier, so it won't move about as easily. You, you won't be able to flip it over uh, as easily as you can with these. Um, Anybody that's using these knows what I mean. Just the slightest tap and they flip. Uh, and normally the drills end up in the glue. This one, because it's square, it, it doesn't want to tip and it's got all that extra weight. So that's uh, a definite, definite plus. Uh, I'll just check. I mean, I know it's going to fit, but just for demonstration purposes, I don't know why I'm doing this left-handed. Um, you've got the nozzle in your tic-tac box and the nozzle fits in. So if you're doing the same thing with this one, pull out your little plug and then tip it in. So exactly the same. Difference is this is covered at the beginning of the nozzle. So when you tip it up, it's completely inside the tic-tac box. So you're not going to, going to get any spillages. Whereas with this one, you still can if you've got 
too many in here uh, they will pile up at the neck and they will fall off the sides um, it, it takes a little bit of uh, practice with these things because you start having to tap them early and then gradually tip it up as uh, they go in because if you try and just tip it up um, they will go all over the place so this one solves that when you tip it the drills will come down into here they'll go behind that and uh, when you stick the nozzle in you don't have to worry about anything because it's completely inside the box so really really nice design nice color um, Jeff has a lot of different colors so if uh, this isn't your thing it has a lot of different colors and it also has glow in the dark which might be quite cool so that's it really um, nice big tray heavy uh, beats this hands down and if you're working on large diamond paintings this is a very very small tray so this is much better and um, the uh, ridges being higher I don't know how well you can see that in camera but it helps to hold the drills in uh, position and the ridges are actually I'm just looking at that the ridges if I put that there the ridges are actually wider than they are in the sort of standard trays so that will mean uh, that the drills won't stick uh, sometimes if these are made too close together the drills will get stuck or you'll get a drill that's got a little burr on it and it'll jam and all the drills pile up behind it so that won't happen with these because uh, the lines are further apart and that allows for any little sort of deviancies in the drills. So there you have it, some very nice trays. Um, as I said, uh, the trays that you get with the kits uh, can be annoying, to put it mildly. Uh, once you've knocked them over a few times, you will start to get frustrated. So if you're looking for an alternative, um, it doesn't really matter if you use tic tac boxes or not these trays will work with anything but it's just if you are using tic tac boxes uh, you do need a sort of nozzle then that fits inside so uh, i think the point is that this will cover everybody including the, the tic tac users so uh, definite 10 out of 10 nice size tray good weight won't tip as I said, available in uh, quite a few different colours, including glow in the dark. And I noticed that Jeff also does uh, tray holders uh, where you can stack four trays uh, in a little uh, box type thing, uh, where they stack one on top of the other. So if you're looking for some kind of organiser uh, for your trays that you've got open, I know that some people uh, have more than one tray out at a time. It's not something that I do. I prefer only to spill one colour at a time and not four. But if you do work on big projects and you're switching back and forward between colours, it is handy to have more than one. So Jeff uh, makes these little stackable tray holders and uh, they look pretty cool as well. So I'll put a, a link to Jeff's Etsy store in the comments below and give it a look and let me know if you do get one or if you have one i'd be interested to what people think and also if you do or do not use tic tac boxes so next one i think will be an unboxing of a diamond painting i think so in the meantime take care be safe and Wash your hands.